Just after the turn of the 20th century, Paris faced an impossible decision. The choice between a tortured and unreliable but brilliant musical revolutionary, Claude Debussy, and an almost antisocial man child whose exquisite music breathed with all the emotion he could never express himself, Maurice Ravel. And flawed though they both are, one must be chosen. That is the story of the Judgment of Paris. We tell our story with music by Debussy. And with music by Ravel. With music we wrote ourselves. Some songs about Debussy. My running ran out again and again. Waves overtook me and washed my shoes. I landed up here and you took me in. And some songs about Ravel. Give me a reason this should be my season for love. Don't talk about it. I am not public. Rising above, well, keep it at end. We cover the history that influenced them both. The trouble is the Germans Their musical works The trouble is the Germans Their musical jerks And we cover music that was influenced by them And music by their contemporaries The Judgment of Paris is music, it's history, it's storytelling, it's mythology, it's theater, and most of the time, it's all of those things at once. But it's also a decision that still has to be made. So why not let us bring all of that to you? Debussy, Ravel, and Paris. And that way, just like Paris, you can judge for yourself.